Hi everybody and welcome to Monday's Musings. Um, today I want to show you about a little Kaiser Craft mini cabinet that I made. And this is the label from it and it comes in pieces like this. And I've got, I, mean, I took some pictures all along the way so that you could see the process. Um, but it, it's, the process is way too long for just, a, you know, just a video to watch me do it. Um, I started it Oh, let's see. Uh, I think it's about a three-hour project, maybe. Maybe four. It kind of depends on if you have some interruptions and things and some drying time. So, um, I'm using Graphic 45. I'm not doing it exactly like it's pictured there, but I am doing some of it like that. So, here's my, here's my cabinet. And I don't have it all put together completely yet, but I do have it uh, um, together without glue. So... I'm going to take it apart a little bit and show you the pieces and we'll put it together. So what I did do at first is I used um, black soot dist distress stain for all of the edges because I wanted, I wanted to use stain because I wanted it to um, permeate and soak into to the wood. Okay, so I did all of my edges with black soot stain, distress stain, and then I use black soot distress paint to paint all of the pieces. And you see it's kind of all over my hands. I've been working with all this all for a little while. And then when I cut my papers, I edged everything in black soot distress ink. And I did this because I'm using the uh, couture um, rain, um, paper from Graphic 45 and it has a lot of, there's a lot of black in it so that's why I used black. And I used several papers from it and I've got a lot of scraps sitting over here uh, from things I just, places I cut out and used. And I'm, I used the 8x8. Eight eight. That's the, I usually get that because I don't do layouts so I usually get the uh, smaller 8x8s eight and that uh, pads and that works for most of the purposes. Sometimes um, it, it's not quite um, right, but sometimes it's it works. So most of the time it works. So then I wanted to show you that um, on well, I have a lot. Oh, there it is. On the label, I noticed that the hinge was on there and these labels also. So I don't have that die. <laughs> it's one of the few Tim Holtz dies that I don't have. So what I did do is I had some pieces from it that I got in a swap. So what I did is they were paper. So what I did is I put three of them together and I used my, my little Xyron X to put adhesive on the back of the pieces. And then I stuck them together and then I painted them with the black soot Tim Holtz distress paint. So I've got those. And I've got a few other little uh, couture embellishments and stuff here. So what I did is I cut, it, cut them all out so that I could have just a little bit of a border around them. And I used um, the this tape. The, whoa, wow, why can I not think of it? This It's Sequang tape, and um, it's just like the red line tape, only you can tear it. Okay, so that's what I used. And so I've got all of my pieces uh, ready to put together, except for, um, let's see, that's the back. And let's see, the, the sides, I still have the sides to put together. And let's see. Oh, oh, in the bottom. I didn't put one on the bottom. So, and I've got my doors kind of stuck in there. I'm not going to glue them because you want them to be able to, to move. So, they're just going to be stuck in there. Okay, so let me find my two sides. There we go. And, oh, and then this is the front piece. So I cut two squares and I inked them with uh, black ink. And I want to put them on here like this, but the reason I haven't put them on yet is because 
there are places right here where that needs to uh, go be stuck in you know it's a slot and tab so I need to put some glue on there before I do that so I'm going to put it let's see Oops. the other one okay so this is the inside so I think I'm just going to put the glue right on that tab bottom and top and I'm just going to use this got some quick dry adhesive you could use just about any liquid glue I'm not using the, the tape glue because I want I think it would hold better with liquid and hopefully I can get it to come well okay got it to come out sure did okay gonna wipe a whole lot of that off put it on the bottom as well and I'm just going to put this on my craft sheet because I can probably come right back in a minute and pick it up and use it for the other side. So let's see. This piece, because I have slots on the back, so I have to match up my slots. So I'm going to put this right in here. And hold it for a moment as my doors fall off. That glue will dry clear, but you want to wipe off some excess if you can. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe my glue on this tab, top and bottom. And put the other side on. Slide that right on. Tabs match up very well, even better once I painted them than they did uh, before being painted. They seem to be a little more snug. I'm going to let that set just for a moment and I want to put the back on before I put the top on because it's easier to get the doors in that way so that goes straight in with those tabs so what I will do again is put glue on these tabs front and back and now I got to get a little more out. I'm just going to go ahead and put that right there on my craft sheet because I think I'm doing a better job rubbing it on than squirting it on. Okay, well, I did just mess up, but not badly because this side is showing, so I don't need the glue on there. So I'm going to wipe it back off. It will dry clear. But I don't need it so I'm going to wipe it off. So I just need it on the inside. Okay, and I've got glue all over my fingers. How fun. Alright, so let's put this together. And I'm going to squeeze it and hold it for a moment and let it uh, get set up. next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the doors on. And I have the plain side for the inside and the the um, decorate the uh, more detailed side for the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and put those doors right in that hole. And this is the the um, place where the the square peg goes into the round hole and I wondered about that at first but it, it fits and it works
And so my back fell off, so let's put a little more glue on. Then I'm going to let it sit for a while so that it will catch. Now, I could be putting glue all up on all these edges as well. So maybe let, let's try. Well, no. It's going to try that, but now it seems to be holding okay. When the top is on, then it holds itself together as well. So the top then slips, slips down in for these tabs also. And I'm not going to put any glue on that because it's not necessary. There's no pressure right there. So I'm going to let that just let gravity hold it on. <laughs> and that goes to my back again. <laughs> but I'm going to get these doors on. Okay. So, one more time. You know, I think I'm going to leave the back until I get the last part of it on. <laughs> okay, so there's this side. Oh, and I didn't paint this side. So let me do that real quickly. I forgot to paint the back side. No, it's not going to show unless you pick it up. And But I like, I like not to leave unfinished edges or sides. So I think this is a much more professional way of doing it. Never leave your backs and then uh, I mean we do that and as you know that once the uh, distress paint dries it's tough as nails it's permanently there and I only used one coat so it's really nice good coverage on this is um MDF board and it's really easy to work with and it's very sturdy okay so I'm gonna need to put my glue on these three edges right here which I did not stain because I knew that they would be hidden absolutely hidden so I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead of glue spread it slide that right here and press it together and hold it while it sets. Um, if I had a big clamp that would be it would be perfect time to use it. Now I'm going to let that sit on there just for a moment and I'm going to go again and put glue on the back and I'm going to go ahead and put it on these edges because it's having such a hard time staying on. I got those edges. Oops, not that one. <laughs> this edge. I keep wanting to glue that back where it doesn't need to be. Okay. And I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to set it right on it. All right. And just working with it a little bit to get the doors into their holes in the top. Pressed on and <laughs> and now this falls. Okay. So, I'm going to have to um stop the the video and hold this until it dries. before we can finish up with our decorating on the sides. Okay, so now we've got our cabinet put together, but I need to finish decorating the sides. So here's my paper that I've got cut, and it uh, covers that tab, which is why I couldn't really put it on until after we glued together. 
So I'm going to put my t my adhesive tape on it. I'm going to put it on all four sides. You can go ahead and tape them both while I'm taping. piece there. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on, leaving just a little bit of a border. And come around with the other side. out of my way. One thing I want to do too is to glue my latches onto the doors so I can do that. Again I'm just going to take the, the liquid glue and spread it around. <laughs> Make sure you get your keyhole going right side up. Likely, I'm going when this all dries. I'm going to glue some nail head brads on top of here. Uh, 
Okay, so then I've cut a piece from the uh, from the eight by eight page, and this is from some of the um, embellishments from Couture, and I'm going to put that right on there like that. I don't think I'll pop it up. I think there's enough going on without popping up. So let's just go ahead and put our tape on. I'm using the uh, half inch because these are, are thick pieces that I'm taping. Make sure you get it going right side up and you'll match with your top and I'm just going to put it right here on this edge and then we'll tape down our other embellishment put that one askew a little bit okay and we'll flip over carefully gently flip over go to our other side and finish that the same way here's my strip of, of couture postage stamp probably all shouting at the screen right now with the proper name for this score tape score tape I was getting ready to say that you know have you ever known that you know a word that you just cannot bring it to mind the older I get the more often that happens but that's what was happening and now it just finally came to mind score tape okay and we'll get this one Now I need to quickly take a look. Okay, so I've got the top leaning towards the front. Okay, there we go. Put that on there. Now I have a couple of other embellishments. I have some chipboard circles and squares, and I may put those on there. I'm just not sh sure yet, not real certain. Um, I've also got a couple of uh, of the botanical tea embellishments. Oh, that's really nice right there. That's probably where that's going to go. And then I've got this one I could put on the other side. Yep, those are going to go on there, definitely. Um, now let's see if we can put our strip anywhere. Yeah, I think I might put that right across here. Okay. And again, that needs to glue down, but I'm going to wait until everything gets um, all the way dried, and then I'm going to put these on there with, along with some brads, and I will have some pictures for you. And um, I had fun making this. I really, really did. And it was really hard to figure out what uh, Graphic 45 design I was going to use, but I went with Couture because I think it it kind of goes with this little uh, jewelry box design so here's my box and um, I hope that uh, you'll you'll get one and try it and the box is by Kaiser Kaiser craft and it was it's very inexpensive uh, I believe it was under twenty dollars and it's a lot of fun to do a lot of fun to make and this can be used for some jewelry 
for anything you want to use it for and it would make a really nice gift so thanks for hanging out with me and i'll see you next week bye